Hey guys, what's up? I hope that you are all doing well. I have about an hour before I have to leave for my shift at work, but before that I wanted to film a little collective haul for you guys because I have some items that I am very excited to talk to you guys about and share with you all. Recently I stopped by Target and I picked up some fall items from them. I also have some Orbe hair care products that I really wanted to talk to you guys about. And then I have quite a few pairs of shoes from Cole Haan, which is one of my all time favorite brands. They make super comfortable shoes and super stylish shoes, so it's just a win-win. Also, I did just touch up my hair today. Um, I re-dyed it and I gave myself a bit of a trim so it's looking extra shiny and kind of like a deep cherry red. That is why. For those who don't know, I actually cut and color my own hair and I actually do it for some of my friends as well. Um, so if you guys have like a video on that, please let me know. Anyways, without further ado, I'm just gonna jump right into the video, starting with the good old Target. There is something about going on a Target run that is just so much fun and it can be so dangerous. So first, not super exciting, I just picked up another one of the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascaras. This is my all time favorite mascara, it's what I'm wearing on my lashes today. I just love this stuff and it has quickly replaced all of my other mascaras so I wanted to pick up a backup. I picked up two clothing items from Target, the first of which is this really cute loungewear piece. This is from their A New Day collection and it's in a size small. It is just this kind of like speckled dark gray scoop neck long sleeve shirt that has this really interesting little bottom. When I say that this is the softest thing in the world, I am not joking. It is seriously so comfortable and I think the bottom, like the detailing here, really does make it a little bit more appropriate to actually wear out if I chose to on a more like casual day with either a pair of leggings or jeans. But I thought that this was also gonna be a really great top to just wear around the house and lounge in and it's just so cozy for the fall time. I also picked up this adorable denim jacket from their newest collection, which I believe is called Wild Fable. I've heard everybody and their mother talking about this line from Target and not like I need any more clothes, but I wanted to stop by and see if there was anything that really caught my eye in this denim jacket. I was like, okay, you have to come home with me now. So this is just a really basic black denim jacket. It's actually kind of cropped, which I like because I've never owned a cropped jacket just because they're not really my style, but I like this because it's cropped, a little distressed, and kind of oversized, so it fits a little bit like an oversized jacket. So all of those things combined just made for something that I loved. It's so cute though, and it was really inexpensive. It was only $32, which honestly for a denim jacket is not that bad. And also I know that I'm just gonna get a lot of use out of this in the fall and winter months. So I'm very excited about this. Lastly, I stopped by the dollar section at Target. I use quotations because like obviously not everything in that section is a dollar, but it's all relatively inexpensive. I picked up a pair of Halloween socks for myself because they were just too cute and honestly when I have like a Halloween movie marathon with my boyfriend you can bet I'm gonna be popping these on. They're so cute though, they're orange and then they just have these little sparkly like jack-o'-lantern faces on them. And then because I'm the best girlfriend ever and I'm also super obnoxious, I got my boyfriend a pair as well. These are men's socks and they're just orange and then they have these black cobwebs on them so I'm gonna make him wear these and we're gonna be super cute. I also picked up this candle. This is the cinnamon pumpkin scented candle. First off, the packaging is really cute. I even like the picture on the front, but the color is also really nice. This candle was only like $3, and usually I'm not a pumpkin like scent fan. I really don't like the smell of pumpkin, but something about this candle is just so lovely. It's like a very subtle pumpkin scent, so I think I'm really gonna like this. You can definitely smell more cinnamon than you can pumpkin. So I'm really excited to burn this, probably like in my bedroom or something on like a cozy night, and I'm so excited. Lastly from Target, and I'm so excited <laughs> to show you guys these items, I picked up two packs of the Starry Lights in the warm white shade. Essentially, these are just six foot long light strands, but they have their own little battery pack so you don't have to plug them into an outlet. I'm thinking I'm gonna use these in the background of my videos. I've always wanted to set up lights, but I've never found lights that I truly love and that aren't too distracting. They're on this really pretty copper wire and then the lights are just like green and clear and then they have a warm light bulb in each of them. And then here's just a little pack where you put the batteries. I'm so excited. I'm gonna play around and figure out like how I can set these up in the background of my videos and um, if they work, they work. If not, I'll probably just put them like in my bedroom or save them for when I move into my next apartment. 
So recently um, at my work, for those who don't know, I work at Barney's. Um, I wanted to pick up some new hair care products from Orbe just because I love Orbe. I've used their products for years, but because I work at Barney's, I get an employee discount, so it's better if I just purchase my Orbe products there. But I recently picked up backups of two of my favorite products from Orbe, so I really wanted to share them with you guys. The first of which is the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. So the directions on the back say, spray where you want volume, style to desired finish and hold, a brilliant alternative to dry shampoo. So that's pretty much essentially what I use it for. I love this as a dry shampoo. It really does absorb the oil and it gives me a lot of volume. I also use this just like as an additional like texturizer in my hair when I'm doing like a little bit more of a gritty style. But I like it because even though it's a texturizing spray, it still gives my hair a lot of shine, which is something that's very important to me. And then and this product is definitely my favorite out of the two, but I love them both. But this one in particular is so amazing. So if you're trying to figure out which of the two products you want to try, I would go with this next one. This is the Orbe, this is the Orbe Wave and Shine Spray. And when I say that I adore this stuff and I use it like water, I'm not even kidding. What's really cool about this product is you can use this on either wet or dry hair, um, and then you can either follow up with heat styling or just twist your hair and let it air dry naturally. I personally usually use this on dry hair as the final step after creating some like messy waves with my flat iron, and this is just the perfect wave spray. It doesn't make my hair feel crunchy, it doesn't make my hair feel dry, this is just amazing and it gives your hair the most wonderful scent that does linger a little bit, which I really, really love. Okay, last but certainly not least, I've got a couple pairs of shoes to show you guys from Cole Haan. We have a really big bag here. Since I work in retail and I'm also an actress, meaning I'm constantly walking and going to auditions, I need shoes that are not only really stylish, but are really comfortable for my feet. So I personally don't mind investing in some really good, comfortable shoes. And Cole Haan for me just has really good prices for really amazing shoes. So the first pair that I picked up is this pair of fall booties right here. These are gorgeous and every time I wear them, I get so many compliments on them. People think that these are designer shoes. People think that I paid hundreds and hundreds of dollars for these when in fact, I honestly paid a really reasonable amount for these. So these are just these suede little booties with a gold accent right here on the heel. Um, it just says Cole Haan engraved in the gold, but it's so small that you can't see it. These are so comfortable, so classy. I'm probably gonna wear these today. I'm wearing an all black outfit. So I just, I adore these and all my accessories are gold anyways. So I love how this kind of ties into the accessories that I'm always gonna wear. Anyways, I love these boots. I get my boots from Cole Haan in a seven and then I get my heels and flats in a six and a half just for size reference. I picked up this pair of flats just because I don't really have a good pair of classic elegant flats that I can just wear on a day-to-day -day basis. So I picked up these. Again, they are black suede and then they just have this gold little like emblem on it and a little black bow. I just think that these are really classic. They kind of look a little loafer-esque but they're super cute, very comfortable, and again, I just love how the gold detailing is tied into the shoes. Last but certainly not least, um, these are a little bit more out of my comfort zone, but I've been really trying to step up my style game recently, especially since I work at such a like historic fashion store. And even though they're a little bit crazier, they're still neutral, so I feel like I can wear them with a lot. They are these heels here. Um, they're a bit of a chunkier heel, and then the shoe themselves are these amazing like cheetah leopard print. To be quite honest, I don't know which one they are. They have a black suede bow on them again, and then the same little gold detailing as what's on those flats. These are so cute, they're so comfortable, and I really think that they're quite a mature shoe because they have like a chunkier heel. And for somebody like me who lives in New York City and walks everywhere, these are gonna be amazing. I can't wait to wear these though. Like they're so classy, and I feel like these are like big girl shoes. So. I am determined to get a lot of use out of these. Obviously, I can't wear them on rainy days because they are like fur, but I feel like when it's not raining, you know, I'll break these puppies out and just look like a businesswoman ready to take over the world. There you have it, guys. That is my collective haul for you guys. I really hope that you all did enjoy. If you did, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up to let me know that you'd like to see more of me on this channel. Please subscribe and help me grow the Ruby Rocks the World family. It would mean the absolute world to me. 
Follow me on all my social media networks. Links are always in the down bar below. I hope that you guys are having an awesome day, night, afternoon, whenever you all are watching this video. And I will talk to you guys in my next one. Okay, bye everybody.